and she was buried with her unborn son, Connor, in the very same casket in a small cemetery. And today, our Caitlin Becker found physical proof that after 20 plus years, Lacey and Connor have not been forgotten. Ashley, what an incredible contrast it was to have been sitting in that hearing today for Scott Peterson and feel the energy in that room as compared to this really just beautiful and serene final resting place for Lacey and Connor. It was almost 21 years ago to the week that their bodies were found in the San Francisco Bay, some 87 miles from where I'm standing. And even after two decades, you can still see how loved Lacey was. You have freshly placed Easter decorations that I imagine went in a few weeks ago. There's hand painted rocks here with their names on it. And honestly, these flowers we thought were fake because they're so fresh. There's not a single wilted petal to be seen. So clearly they were placed here very, very recently. We don't know if they were by loved ones or friends, but either way, you can see how impactful Lacey was on those around her. Her name is listed here under her maiden name. Connor doesn't have a last name there, and it just serves to remind us that at the end of all of this, it is about Lacey and Connor. She was, of course, last seen in 2003 near her home in Modesto, which is about 12 and a half miles for here. And all of these things are going to come together within the next hearing in May, which is coming up, where they're going to talk a lot about DNA evidence. The LA Innocence Project specifically wants to talk about DNA from that burnt out van that was found near the Peterson's home. But they also want to talk specifically about items that were found on the bodies of Lacey and Connor when they were discovered in the San Francisco Bay, specifically twine that was found wrapped around Connor's neck, as well as some duct tape that was found both on Connor and on Lacey. And if the judge grants that motion next month in May and they're tested and it comes back that those do belong to someone else, not Scott, or perhaps the blood that was in that van did belong to Lacey. That could be really meaningful for how this case is handled moving forward. But just being here reminds us all that it is about Lacey. It is about Connor. And as much as it is also about Scott, her family is still grieving her loss. Ashley. Our Caitlin Becker um, doing the journalism today and discovering that no one has forgotten that gravesite. Those little painted rocks, well manicured gravesite, she has not forgotten. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.